Hello. On several occasions, I stand up for those who suffer because of people with narcissistic personalities. Sis. I'm frequently asked if I have no sympathy for narcissists. Here is my answer. Carsten Nuak, travel companion for heroes and heroines. In articles, lectures, coaching, therapy, and even consulting for companies, I advocate for people who suffer from narcissists. Some ask frequently, sometimes even in a hostile manner, if I don't feel sorry for narcissists. How about compassion for narcissists? Caution! This article is not about diagnosing pathological narcissists. It is about avoiding nasty people and not letting them take advantage of you. For simplicity, I call people with clear narcissistic tendencies, whether woman or man, narcissists. The very listing of typical characteristics of narcissistic personality does not make it easy to feel sorry for narcissists. Narcissists too often leave a mess. Narcissists are opportunistic and resentful. They are arrogant and convey inferiority to those around them. Their motto is, I only defend myself even when I attack. They do not listen, or only if they hope to gain an advantage. They know everything better, deceive, cheat, manipulate present themselves as victims when necessary, and the actual victims as perpetrators. Narcissists are ungrateful. Those who do not acknowledge their divinity thus only prove their own stupidity. They expect luxury, even when the pockets are empty, while others should practice renunciation. They are dazzlers, and behind the facade it is disappointing. They expect loyalty, without granting any themselves. Morality is only important in terms of not getting caught. Narcissists are even proud when they manage to get away with questionable behavior. Me, me, me. Vanity is common. Criticism is lavishly given, but not accepted themselves. They consider people who follow rules to be stupid. Given the power, they turn out to be bullies. I could go on for a while about the damaging narcissistic personalities and what they can cause. And they very often do. I help those who suffer because of narcissists on a daily basis and it is painful to listen. Life partners, business partners, investors, employees. Many can tell horrible stories about how much suffering narcissists can create. Take a breath. As a therapist and empathetic person, I feel sorry for narcissists. Narcissists do not have happy lives. Their craving for recognition is a prison from which they cannot escape. It is a punishment for life. Narcissism is not curable. But even as a therapist, I don't feel called to work with them. I don't have the impression that this is appreciated. So other therapists may take care of that. The people I deal with have often been put in uncomfortable situations by narcissists. And I support them because they appreciate it. Carsten Luck, travel companion for heroines and heroes, live your life and take good care of yourself and others.